there has been a chaotic end to a dance party on a sandbar in the Northern Territory. As Jack Hahn explains, hundreds of revellers were caught off guard by a fast rising tide. Police say around 600 people attended the party on a small island only exposed during the low tide just off the shoreline of Darwin's Cullen Bay. Partygoers had enjoyed a day of sun, sea and celebrations but were surprised by rising tide during the afternoon, forcing them to evacuate the sandbar in a variety of watercraft. A number of boats were reportedly overloaded with passengers and equipment, with several of them colliding and even capsizing in the mad scramble to evacuate the sinking sandbar. We've got some reports back from them who were frankly uh, horrified at the time about what they were seeing. Um, overloaded boats, no safety gear, they had boats capsizing people in the water. Organisers insist the majority of party goers were well behaved while the Chief Minister Michael Gunner took to Facebook saying you can't do this in Bondi but you can do this in Darwin. This is the reward of COVID zero and hard border closures. This is fun and freedom. Well, let's check today's breaking news coming up at six with Melissa and Andrew. Two Brisbane students test positive to COVID, a snap lockdown looming. Exclusive. The COVID-infected father of the schoolgirl sparking the Sunnybank cluster tells all to nine news. Border breakdown. A distraught Queensland dad collapses after being refused entry to see his wife. 